All right. Let me just look at this place. This seems very quarantine-ish, but there aren't quarantine tapes, so obviously it's not a quarantine zone, which is very confusing. Hello. Move, And the last challenge for Victor. What I'm assuming is last. No, it's not the last chapter. Maybe, perhaps. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I have the mission selected, so it's showing up orange on the map. And that throws me off for a little bit of a loop. Alright. Oh, uh, someone's gonna die outside. Not much I can do about that. Hello! Did you hear that loud music? Someone turned it up on purpose. I wonder why. That guy must have a death wish. Hmm? What about loud music? I didn't hear it! Find out where the music comes from. Well, that's not that far. Okay. But first, I need to grab a bunch of things. Spike! Thank you for the survivor points. And a complete rank up. We are now rank 22. Holy crap. All right, I can make do-it-yourself grenades, trap bombs, or shield masteries. Actually, trap bombs, what do these do? Are they actually effective? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, all right. Why not? And then power level, I can either do Whirlwind, Stamina Cost Reduction, Slam... I think I'd do Whirlwind. Just because, uh... I am starting to use it, and I don't really use the Slam Down one too much. He needs help! Get out there, Spike! Jeez! Ooh. 835 Machete! Oh my lord. That is impressive. Ooh, and then there's 1,000. Oh, I want to get to 1,000. Uh, I want to get to level 25 and just have amazing weapons from the get-go all the time. I'm a big fan of high damage numbers. <laughs> it's funny that, like, the game is more serious in a lot of regards. Like, they do away with the damage numbers and health bars for the most part. And yet, here we go with weapons that do 835 damage. Or 1,045, or 1,109. I don't know what happened there, honestly. Um, let's see. Is there anything good? I mean, ex obviously this is exceptional. 835 machete versus my, what? 820? Dude, this beats out the damage without any upgrades. And this has three upgrades. Golly. The only problem I have is... I kind of have you been using a machete for a very long period of time? So I would actually like to kind of change it up. And I just don't have a lot of options here. I mean, look how many- okay, if we look at the crafting list. Look how many things I just don't have. I don't have knives- I don't really care about the knives though. I don't have like a wrench or a hammer or, or a pick or a crowbar or a baseball bat, a police baton, military shovel. Uh, I don't have a sickle. I had a couple of sickles earlier. <laughs> I don't have the big blades. And so the whole bunch of those are things that'd be really cool to use. And I just don't really have them. So, eh, I'm fine. Although, apparently I can get an angel sword machete. Huh, maybe I can get over myself. Hmm, indeed. Hey, friend, just give me the machete. I have the resources. Okay, so if I get a blueprint, go to the angel sword. Which is currently the only real orange blueprint I have that I can use. Bolter poison, that's not... All that big of a deal to me. I mean, let's slap 167 toxic damage versus 270 fire and burning. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, Balter Poison. You do not win. Okay. This is just going to straight up do a thousand damage, which is great because that means it does about. It does more than my superior heavy splitting axe. Okay. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and replace this, and then we even have upgrades we can put on it. We'll put a king on there. Just because I really enjoy the king buff, it adds a lot of damage, and just everything, to everything, you know? Now I could do more. I really like the sound of increasing handling by a lot. But I don't throw every good buff I have at it. Uh, Barbarian would be pretty solid. Are there any purples that do handling? Champion's pretty nice. And then I could do Barbarian here. 386, oh my lord. <laughs> I almost do 1,500 damage with this thing. Oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. I don't even have any upgrades on the superior splitting axe because I'm scared of upgrading it more. Not anymore, though. Now I'm starting to get kind of used to these things. But for now, it's looks kind of comfortable. Out of luck. Howdy. Oh, you found me again. God bless you. Listen, I barely made it here. I was delivering more medicine when the monsters almost got me. I still have more to deliver, but I broke my damn leg trying to escape. Could you? Yeah, I'll help. And maybe since you're laid up now, you finally get some rest, huh? I'll give it my best shot. And listen, I'm giving you as much of the profits as I can, but... Well, it's just no one has money anymore. You know one of my clients tried to pay me in chickens? <laughs> well, I don't really need food, but if I could eventually get items or go. whatever, I'm totally okay with that. Using grappling hook is not allowed. Why? Why? It would be so effective. Maybe too Crane. effective. Crane, it's Tobias. I've got a new workshop set up here in Old Town, and I've made massive progress on my machete. You've got to see it. You've just got to. So come and visit me, okay? Okay. <laughs> But not anytime soon, because I really don't need your machete anymore, buddy. Okay. Yeah. I can't use my grappling hook, so I actually have to learn the layout of the land slightly. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, I need to jump. Thank you. There. Take goddamn package. I don't really actually receive payment for any of these. You know, I just kind of run up, deliver the package, and then eventually I get a payment for it. Ah! Ah ha ha ha! Holy shit! I was not anticipating that. It's so tempting to use the grappling hook. I, I figured they'd just take it away for a bit, but it's just sitting there. Like, hey! That's a tall building! Wouldn't it be great if, I don't know, you had an item that allowed you to get all the way to the top of it? I mean, especially because of the fact that the whole point of this is to get all these items to the people as fast as possible. It seems a little selfish to go, eh. You have to do it in a very specific way. Alright, we have enough time, we'll be fine. Navigating the city wasn't as hard as I figured. Although I probably could have done this a little bit faster if I had gotten for these two first, then gone all the way to the other side. Oh. Sup, thank you for the challenge. Spectacular job, buddy. Maybe we've saved a few more lives. Well, we ought to get a medal. I agree. Oh, you actually gave me some cash. Thank you. All right. Well, now that we're doing that little challenge, let us find out where the music comes from. I mean, as much as I want to do continue main story, things just pop up, and it's right near me. This is the fastest I can get this little side mission out of the way, rather than putting it off more and more like I do the main story. <laughs> I hear the music. What the hell? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Here, have a machete. A frozen machete, Jesus Lord. 
I have gotten a couple of freezes lately. Hello. Everyone's just vomiting on each other. All right. Hello? Oh, I can tell how this is gonna go. Hey, spiritual! I don't know why you are here. Man! Spiritual man! Your nemesis awaits you. He has waited a long time. Uh, sounds like you've met him. He once sought my visions for his advantage, but I will not share my gift with such a man as him. With you, I will. How much will that cost? The price will be high, but your payment will not be to me. Now you will go to the river. There is a pungent nightshade that reveals itself only in the moonlight. The smolder of its embers enables the seeker to pierce the veil. All out, are we? Bring me several stalks of this plant. Maybe I will. But in the meantime, you should shut off the music. It draws attention. Nothing enters that I do not wish. Now, I must prepare my mind. <laughs> okay. Find night herbs in the riverbank. That is... Way up there. Aren't you a Sean? What? Hold up. I didn't actually, re like, listen to the dude, or, like, find out his name. Oh, it's a shock! Okay. That just threw me off! It's like, here's a dude named Ashan, and over to the left of him is a dude named Ashan. Or, wait. But here's a shack. Over there's Ashan. I'm gonna go to Ashan. I don't really want to make it night. Got him eventually! But I don't know if I want to make a night and get all these herbs and things. I should probably do it. <laughs> so I can get it out of the way as fast as possible. Okay. So this safe zone should have a bed. Alright, yep, yeah, here we go. I just hope his music doesn't legitimately attract attention. <laughs> This might be another mission that leads to having a potion. I'm not entirely sure. But it does give me a pretty decent amount of survivor points. And I like survivor points. Or just points in general, honestly. Oh, that's so far! I love it! Okay, so what's going on down here? Whoa, safe zone! I like how they waited until I was in it before they turned on the lights. It probably wasn't exactly night. Hey. Okay. Are you the one who rescued that little boy? How's he doing? He's on his way back to the tower. Brecken sent a messenger through. He had to go back anyway, so he just took Sammy with him. He'll be with his mum by tomorrow. Thanks. That's that's good to know. Maybe I'll see him back at the tower. Oh. All right. <laughs> I didn't expect to just run to people talking about the other things over here. Howdy. If you're looking for food, you've got to wait and get your rations like everyone else. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm Crane. I'm a runner. Anything I should be looking for out there? We're pretty much out of everything. Food, water, medicine. You wouldn't expect Old Town to be poorer than the slums, but it is. Got to admit, it makes me wonder about those rumors of a big supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Too bad the one person would know if it's true is Tabith Erdl. You can't get anything out of him. Where do I find him? Across town. He's not dangerous. He's just difficult. He's the former town clerk, and he can be extremely uh, bureaucratic about things. Try not to kill him. But if you have to kill him, I'll totally understand. <laughs> yeah, I'll try, buddy. The bunker. And where does that take place? Uh, way in the middle. Lots well, along the way. I could do a little bit of talking, and then absolutely, once I finish this night urban mission, we're heading to where we need to. Holy shit! Look at the amount of challenges that are out here, guys. That is a lot. All right. Uh, he's got about the same machete that I got earlier. We have a sledgehammer for a thousand one hundred twenty-four. I don't think I have any upgrades to sledgehammer, so eh. 
I know some people have said stuff like, Oh, but Gobby, you do have blueprints for things. You can just use your, like, bolter poison on other melee weapons. And I'm like, no. I want really good buffs for my weapons. The ones that have names and stuff like that. All right, how far away is this bolter? Haha, <laughs> fuck that, okay. All right, so if I get in trouble out there... At least I can get to the safe zone relatively quick. Oh no, there's a bolter tissue feeding ground! Well, the tissue's not feeding, but still! It's so tempting! Holy shit, he wasn't kidding. I can't see all the things down there. All right. Neat! I don't even have to go swimming! I thought this was gonna be a swimming mission! Ha! Ow. Goddamn spinners! Oh, that wasn't too hard. I like how all the other herbs disappeared. Talk to a shark. Excuse me, just trying to grab me a bolter. All right, lovely. Let's get a move on now. I can't see for shit. Remember when I made a speed booster and never used it? I should probably do that. Hey, look at that. We escaped. Uh, maybe not for long. I'm seeing- I'm trying my luck. Oh shit. My luck ran out! I gotta make it to the safe zone! I can't just run it out over here! I was trying, man. I was really trying to just like let- Let it expire without me getting to the safe zone, because I think you get more points if you get away from a- A four-star pursuit. Without going into the safe zone, but nope, it just didn't work out. Well, at least this guy's not too far away from the other safe place. Get out of here! At least he has a UV light, actually. <laughs> Look at that! He's prepared. I'm gonna have to, like, sit down with you, aren't I? Your herbs. Place the stalks in the brazier, and we will begin. Okay. Well, here we go. Now what happens? Speak no more. The rising sun will lead you to the fountain of crying blood, near the place where people are speaking tongues. You must follow the red trail to be enlightened. Under the deceitful number nine, the shadow of a self-proclaimed king will be waiting for you. The king with whom you shall have to fight. You'll find out who he is and what his weaknesses are. When the time comes, you will take his crown or die. I don't know if I want to take the king's crown. Uh... <laughs> I'm wondering if he's actually referring to, like, Rise or someone, or if it's just, like, a bunch of shenanigans leaning through a side mission. Follow clues for the prophecy. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make it daytime. Now we're gonna go do the main mission. <laughs> I could go grab that along the way, but it's gonna take me all over the place. And I don't need that. We're gonna go to the beat. Just to see what he has to say about things. Because that one is legitimately all along the way, not so bad. Uh, is that a zip line that I can use, or just a fence thing? I can use a zip line! Ha ha! I don't use these things enough. Apparently, there are tons of them. Oh, hey. Okay. That zombie freaked me out for a second. Sup? Okay! 
I ran up right by the dude and he had no reactions. Oh, uh, that's funny. I'm not going with you. Wait, did he say I'm not going with you? Because I don't intend to bring you anywhere, buddy. I just plan to kill you. Uh oh. We got zombies falling from the rooftop and shit. Whoops! You missed! Oh, and it cost you your life! You got all turned around. <laughs> and here's something. Nah, it's just the music. Part of the music had like a really weird sound. That I'm identifying with zombies. And so it threw me off. It was like. Ling -ling. Okay, so. What am I thinking about? <laughs> I I thought of something after I killed these guys. Oh Jesus! No! I said no! Get out of here! But I forgot about it. Oh, right! I wanna level up. <laughs> I wanna check out my daily level. Alright. So one of the things that I do that I use a lot. Uh I think Vault stun would be pretty solid in regards to the way that sometimes I accidentally jump over an enemy and it'd be really useful if I did that and they got stunned by it, you know? I do a lot of things by accident and it would just help out. Uh, but I just, I want to try this as well. Try to combine tic-tac with aerial moves? Ooh, that's the real purpose of it. Run at a wall, jump down and attack people. Got you. That's pretty good as well, because sometimes I do get bit. Just because, oh, I got bit. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, we'll grab that. It's nice to just be like, oh no, he's biting me! Nope! 